I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message! Yo, 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 welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Know Yourself Academy. It's your guy, Boro the Lucky Libra. And as you can see by the title, we're continuing the moon series with the Leo moon sign. All right? Now, nothing else to say. Let's get right into this. Leo moon sign. So first of all, Leo, the Leo, the Leo zodiac sign by itself. Leo is fixed fire. Okay, so when we know whenever we talk about a fixed modality, all right, all the fixed signs in the zodiac are Leo fixed fire, Aquarius fixed air, Scorpio fixed water, and motherfucking Taurus fixed earth. And whenever we're talking about fixed signs, these are signs that like to stay fixed on whatever they're thinking, feeling, seeing or whatever based off their element, right? So, you know, Scorpio will be fixed on their emotions because that's water. Uh, Aquarius will be fixed on their ways of communicating and thinking because that's air. We know air deals with logic and communication. Tauruses are fixed earth. So it's fixed on their practicality and you know, uh, how to gain structure in their life, right? They're, and their logic as well because earth is also dealing with logic and practicality. Leo is fixed fire. All right, so we know fire is dealing with feeling and seeing, okay? But when we talk about fixed fire, this is the fire that's ablaze. This is the fire that's dancing. This is the fire we can see, the campfire, you know? So just, just in its own, we know the Leo energy and the fifth house energy is dealing with entertaining. It's dealing, it's dealing, it's dealing with being on the stage, right? It's dealing with lighting up, okay? Because Leo's ruled by the sun, and we know wherever the sun is at, the sun is going to light up. The sun brings vitality. So naturally... You know, Leo, a Leo type of person, you know, is going to want to crave some type of attention or want some type of attention or going to want to be in a position to be on the stage, be the star or light something up or or they're going to try to direct attention towards something. Now, depending on what this now, this is the thing. That's why we have to make sure we separate the difference between a sign and its sun, moon and rising because a Leo moon is different from a Leo sun and rising. Okay, so we talking about being a, uh, wanting to be on stage, wanting to uh, entertain, wanting to light up, right? So when you put when you have Leo in the sun sign, this is somebody's natural actions. Like this is somebody's natural appearance. So it's like they may get their attention just by their actions and how they do things, and then they manifest attention in some shape or form, right? By the thing, by the way they just do things. A Leo rising probably manifests the most attention out of all three of them naturally because it's just their personality. Remember, your rising sign is like who you are when you're not acting on nothing and you're not reacting to nothing. It's like the core of your personality, okay? So they're naturally manifesting attention, all right? Now, the thing with the moon, the thing with the moon is, remember, the moon is what you hone in on. The sun is what you push out. Okay, so you could be a Leo moon sign, right? But depending on your sun, you know, that shows you how you push certain shit out. But when you're a Leo moon, Leo moons need to have an outlet to, you know, direct their creativity because you Leo moons are creative as hell, charismatic as hell, you know, uh, personalities, personalities just have a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of charisma in it and a lot of natural charisma. And... The thing is, you guys don't manifest as much attention as the sun and moon if you guys don't have an outlet to put your creativity in. Because like I said, this is the moon, so the moon hones in. People don't see your moon sign until you open up to them. People are seeing your sun and your rising before they see your moon sign. People have to see how you respond and react to situations. People have to see how you are, you know, in different moods. When you're happy and when you're when you're not feeling good, like people have to see how you respond. People have to see, people have to learn what you uh. People have to learn the things that you keep within that you're not gonna open up unless you're getting intimate with somebody or building. You done built a rapport with somebody. You guys got a connection and a friendship or any type, some type of connection where you feel like you guys can open up and release certain things. You want to just talk, tell anybody on a surface level relationship or friendship. You feel me? So you don't see somebody's moon until all of these factors come into play. So a Leo moon is not gonna manifest this attention that a Leo moon wants in their life unless they find an outlet to put that creativity, to push out that charismatic shit. And Leo moons, 
You know, they're, um, Leo Moons could be real feisty and shit, a Leo Moon could be more fiery than the motherfucking Sun and Ascendant. Why? Because they're honing in on this shit. And I told you the Sun and Ascendant, they 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 manifest some attention just by the way they naturally do things, by their personality. People may just like the way they talk and shit. But a Leo Moon gonna want this attention, and they and they have creativity. They may be more creative than the Sun and the Rising Leo Moon. But that's the thing. They just it's honed in, so people don't see this creativity. People don't see the star in you. People don't see the charismatic part of you. People may not even see the outgoing part of you if you have a, you know, if you have a sun sign or rising that's in clash, that's clashing with it. Like if you have a Scorpio sun, you know, and even with that combination, a Scorpio sun, Leo moon, a, a Leo moon, remember the moon motivates the sun. So that moon is going to push out that Scorpio. Remember the, 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 the moon motivates the sun. So the moon the, the, is gonna, it basically tell them what the fuck the sun to do. The sun is gonna do what the moon does, but it's gonna do it in the way it likes to do it. So you know, like, I believe Young Thug. Young Thug, if I'm not mistaken, Young Thug is a Scorpio Leo moon, or he's a Leo sun Scorpio moon. I think, I think he's a Leo moon. But look what he does for attention. And like I said, Leo moons are the type, now we're dealing with the emotions and feelings. So it's like, a Leo Moon be the type to get moody when they're not uh, manifesting attention. So if you have a family member of uh, you're in a relationship with somebody with a, Le with a Leo Moon, or you're dealing with you just dealing with somebody in your life with a Leo Moon, you may see if they get into these little moody bags or they create scenarios, emotional situations to manifest that attention. You feel me? And remember, when we dealing with the Leo energy, sometimes we don't even care. And this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sometimes we don't even get we don't even care what we're getting attention for as a Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We don't even care. I'm saying we like, I got Leo. I don't have one Leo placement, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all get my drift. Leo, sun, moon, rising. Like, sometimes we don't even, they don't even care what they, what they get in attention for. It's just like, oh shit, I'm, I got the spotlight and this could be a detriment, all right? This is more so, I feel like the sun may do this a lot, but then again, the moon is just gonna be getting to these emotional moods and whatnot when they feel like they're not manifesting the light that they want. They're not manifesting the attention that they want. They, especially when you got a Leo moon that feel like they way more creative than everybody else that they see and they not being seen. They're gonna, manif they're gonna create situations to manifest attention and then it won't be for what they wanna be seen for, but it's like, fuck, somebody just gotta see me. So Leo moons, be careful of that. Be careful of that, all right? Um, And you know, it's, it's fixed, it's fixed fire, all right? So Leos could be fixed on the way they feel about things. They could be fixed, and then when we're when we talking about fixed fire, Leos like to add on to what's already there. They don't like to be new, new, new. All fixed signs don't like to be new. They like to be stable and struck, they, they deal with being stable and um, you know secure with shit, all right? Having a consistent plan on something, on some type of structure or whatnot. So a Leo fire, is, a Leo moon could be stubborn, could be pretty stubborn and it'll be it, sometimes it's hard for them to see somebody else's point of view or see how somebody else's quote unquote feel about something because they're fixed on their feelings and emotions all right so it's good as a leo moon to stay a little open-minded and you never know when somebody else may be presenting something to you that you could take and add to your fire and make that make that fire that you're working on dance a little bit better you see you feel me like everything look astrology is just, when you especially when you learn the elements you're gonna see everything is what it is Look at a flame. A flame is dancing. A flame is entertaining. So when we get to the energies of the fifth house in Leo, we, we we watch Leos. They're entertaining. They, they you feel me. And some of them are just naturally. It is what it is. Sometimes you can watch it just a crazy fire burn or a fire blazing. Just look at it like, and it'll be like you, you just look at it in awe, like amazed, like wow, that's really a flame of fire or whatnot. And that's how it is with Leo placements. Think about it like that. When you see a Leo sun, you may just want to look at him and be around him because. I don't know his actions and the way he do things and the way he talk, it's entertaining. Leo, Leo Rising. Shit, the way this person dresses and the nickname this person, the character this person think they are, and and the way they start and do things is is is, is entertaining. Leo Moon, you feel me? The, the way they feel about things. And then that's the thing. Leo Moons, they're gonna con they try to connect to people. They connect to people through like creative endeavors. You feel me? So with Leo, like, with, uh, 
like remember the moon is is the energy you, you love to be in the moon is the energy that you need to be in to be emotionally comfortable so when somebody takes you out of it you, you start feeling out of whack you start getting frustrated so as a leo moon being anything being around any creative artistic endeavors anything that deals with motherfucking um i just had it in my head anything that deals with um like like being around things that are like popular and being talked about like in the spotlight and like leo just like to be around these things into entertainment entertainment period entertaining vibes like whether they're entertaining somebody or they're being entertained like this is the energy leo needs to be around if you keep like a leo moon needs to get out and travel and go to functions and parties if you got a leo moon that's not really that like not really trying to be social for real not really trying to do much not trying to travel go to events or 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 like you know do something fun this is a depressed ass leo and this goes for sun moon and risings but especially moons because this is who you truly are the moon sign is who you truly are so if you're Moon, if you have a moon sign Leo friend or a sun sign Leo friend and then they just act like they don't want to do shit Like I don't want to go out. I don't want to plan no trips for the summer. I don't want to Fuck that event man. I'm just fuck everything. That's just Keep an eye on your friend because they might be on suicide watch because Leo's they the Leo will show you how to have fun a Leo a Leo will show you it's ruled by the Sun. So this is vitality. This is life you know, Leo's be having life, all right? And sometimes when you, in this life, when you just get out your mind, get out your feelings and be spontaneous and go live, you know, a lot of a lot of the uh, best experiences come from that, from going into things and not just not thinking so much before you go into certain things. And just be like, I'm about to enjoy myself and let me just enjoy life. I've been working on this project for all week. Let me just take a day out and go do this, go do that. My, my, one of my fucking, my fucking bro, my roommate, my boy, he's a double Leo, you feel me? My brother Vonte and he he there be times y'all know me y'all know me I'm a fucking Capricorn Capricorn rising and moon so you feel me sometimes I be y'all know that Saturn energy don't fuck with Leo like and that Leo energy don't like that Saturn shit like you feel me Leo's opposite sign is Aquarius and is a in uh in conjunction with motherfucking a Capricorn. So we know inconjunctions are misunderstanding and opposites are the ops. You gotta get on the same page. You're opposite from each other, there's a clash. You gotta learn from each other. So this, a lot of times when like, I'm just in my house, cause as a Capricorn rising, we just feel like, you know, we got like our free days. Those are the days we wanna super organize. We don't know how to rest sometimes. We just gotta organize, get shit in place, uh, put things in boxes and, and organize this and that and work on business, whatever shit and be practicable about my to-do list and my day and what I'm doing tomorrow. There's many times where my bro has invited me to come out to a party or do something like, yo, bro, I'm good. Like, I got shit to focus on. He's like, yo, bro, come on, bro. He's like, come on, bro. Get out the house. It's gonna be a couple hours. It's gonna be right back. You're gonna be able to take care of that shit later. And I'll let, I'll per, he'll persuade me to come out and then I would have a good time. And I'll be like, damn, I need to come out some more. So that's what a Leo moon and a Leo sun or people, somebody with heavy Leo energy period will help you to, it'll help you to live. These people are full of vitality, all right? But Leo moons, I just urge you guys to find your creative and your creative shit to put your, to direct your creativity because y'all probably are the most creative and charismatic out of the sun, moon, rising Leos. All right, so you already know what it is, man. Shout out to all you Leo moons out there. I hope I increased your knowledge on the Leo energy and Leo moons. If you're a Leo moon or you're trying to learn about a Leo moon, you know, or you related to, or you dating. All right, y'all. You already know what it is. Like, share, subscribe. And who's next? We got the Virgo moon next, all right? And I really like this place, man. We're going to get into why, but y'all already know what it is. This is your guy, Border Lucky Libra, and I'm out of here. Peace.